Welcome to our channel. Civil Engineering Basics. For more videos please subscribe, Civil Engineering Basics. Hello friends, in this video, we will discuss, the types of cement used in building construction. For more videos subscribe Civil Engineering Basics. Let's start with the brief history of cement. The history of cementing material is as old as the history of construction engineering. In the early period, cement was used for making mortar only. Later the use of cement is extended to make concrete. Cement mainly contains limestone and clay, with different processes to its ingredient like mixing, grinding, calcination, etc. In Portland City of England, first hardened cement is produced so the cement is called Portland cement. Joseph Aspden took the patent of Portland cement on October 21, 1824. James Frost also patented a cement of this kind in 1811 and established a factory in London district. Let's see the brief history of cement in India. In India, Portland cement was first manufactured in 1904 near Madras, by the South India Industrial Limited. But this venture failed. Between 1912 and 1913, the Indian Cement Co. Limited, was established at Porbandar, Gujarat, and by 1914 this company was able to deliver about 1,000 tons of Portland cement. Prior to the manufacture of Portland cement in India, it was imported from UK and only a few reinforced concrete structures were built with imported cement. A three-storied structure built at Bikola, Bombay is one of the oldest, RCC structures using Portland cement in India. Let's see the manufacture of Portland cement. The raw materials required for manufacture of Portland cement are calcareous materials, such as limestone or chalk, and argillaceous material such as shale or clay. The process of manufacture of cement consists of grinding the raw materials, mixing them intimately in certain proportions depending upon their purity and composition and burning them in a kiln at a temperature of about 1300 to 1500 degrees Celsius, at which temperature, the material sinters and partially fuses to form nodular-shaped clinker. The clinker is cooled and ground to fine powder with addition of about 3 to 5 percent of gypsum. The product formed by using this procedure is Portland cement. Now let's see the types of cement. The use of additives, changing chemical composition, and use of different raw materials have resulted in the availability of many types of cements to cater to the need of the construction industries for specific purposes. These cements are classified as Portland cements and non-Portland cements. Ordinary Portland cement are classified into three category, first is, Ordinary Portland Cement 33 Grade The Indian Standard Code for this is 269, 1989. Second is, Ordinary Portland Cement 43 Grade The Indian Standard Code 8112, 1989 for 43 Grade Cement. Third is, Ordinary Portland Cement 53 Grade An Indian Standard Code 12269. 1987 is for 53 grade ordinary Portland cement. Portland Pozzolana cement are classified in two category. First is fly ash based PPC cement. And second is calcined clay based PPC cement. Rapid hardening cement. And low heat cement. We will discuss this all cements briefly. Ordinary Portland Cement Ordinary Portland Cement is by far the most important type of cement. The Ordinary Portland Cement is called OPC Cement in short form. Prior to 1987, 
there was only one grade of OPC which was governed by IS-2691976. After 1987 higher grade cements were introduced in India. The OPC was classified into three grades. Namely 33 grade, 43 grade and 53 grade depending upon the strength of the cement at 28 days when tested as per IS 4031 to 1988. If the 28 days strength is not less than 33 Newton per millimeter square it is called 33 grade cement, if the strength is not less than 43, it is called 43 grade cement, and if the strength is not less than 53, it is called 53 grade cement. But the actual strength obtained by these cements at the factory are much higher than the BIS specifications. Portland Pozzolana Cement Portland Pozzolana Cement, PPC, is manufactured by the intergrinding of OPC clinker with 10 to 25 per center of pozzolanic material, as per the latest amendment, it is 15 to 35 per cent. A pozzolanic material is essentially a siliceous or a luminous material which while in itself possessing no cementation's properties, which will, in finely divided form and in the presence of water, react with calcium hydroxide, liberated in the hydration process, at ordinary temperature, to form compounds possessing cementation's properties. The pozzolanic materials generally used for manufacture of PPC are calcined clay, is 1489 Part 2 of 1991, or fly ash is 1489 Part I of 1991. Fly ash is a waste material, generated in the thermal power station, when powdered coal is used as a fuel. These are collected in the electrostatic precipitator. Rapid Hardening Cement This cement is similar to ordinary Portland cement. As the name indicates it develops strength rapidly and as such it may be more appropriate to call it as high early strength cement. Rapid hardening cement develops at the age of three days, the same strength as that is expected of ordinary Portland cement at seven days. The rapid rate of development of strength is attributed to the higher fineness of grinding specific surface not less than 3250 square centimeter per gram, and higher C3S and lower C2S content. Rapid hardening cement is mostly used in, road repair works, prefabricated concrete construction, where form work is required to be removed early, etc. Low heat cement it is well known that hydration of cement is an exothermic action which produces large quantity of heat during hydration. Formation of cracks in large body of concrete due to heat of hydration has focused the attention of the concrete technologists to produce a kind of cement which produces less heat or the same amount of heat, at a low rate during the hydration process. Cement having this property was used in mass concrete construction, such as dams, where temperature rise by the heat of hydration can become excessively large. A low heat evolution is achieved by reducing the contents of C3S and C3A which are the compounds evolving the maximum heat of hydration and increasing C2S. The ultimate strength of low heat cement is the same as that of ordinary Portland cement. Thank you for viewing this video, if you like this video subscribe my channel Civil Engineering Basics, and share it to your friends.